Hey students, today's lesson is on solving simple equations. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and go over some key ideas. Pause the video if you need to to fill in the notes. Um, the addition of property of equality tells us that if we add the same number to each side of an equation, we'll produce an equivalent equation. So if we start with an equation, two sides equal to each other. If we add the same number to both sides, those two sides are still going to be equal to each other. Subtraction property of equality tells us if we subtract the same number from each side of the equation, we produce an equivalent equation. So same thing, if the two sides were equal to start with, if we subtract the same number from both sides, the two sides are still going to be equal and we have an equivalent equation. So let's do some examples. Here we have x minus 7 equals negative 6. So our goal is to get x by itself, to find out what x is equal to. That's how we're going to solve the equation. So let's go ahead and add 7 to both sides. This is important to show your work on this. I don't want you to do this mentally. I know you probably could on this one. But I want you to show that you're adding 7 to both sides, showing that addition property. Now we have x minus 7 plus 7. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0, so we're left with just x by itself and it equals negative 6 plus positive 7 is positive 1. So we can check that by saying 1 minus 7 equals negative 6. I can rewrite that as an addition problem. 1 plus negative 7 equals negative 6, and negative 6 equals negative 6. That is true. Let's go on to our second example. We have decimals here, but it's the same basic philosophy. This time we need to subtract 3.4 from both sides, or we could add negative 3.4. Either way is fine. We're going to subtract 3.4 from the left and subtract 3.4 from the right. Here we have positive 3.4 minus 3.4 is 0, so we're left with y on the left side. 0.5 minus 3.4, I should have a negative number, and it's going to be the difference of those two absolute values, which is 2.9. So I have y equals negative 2.9. Let's check that. Negative 2.9 plus 3.4 equals 0.5. Yep, those are, if we subtract the absolute values, we're left with 0.5. And the larger absolute value is positive, so 0 0.5 equals 0 0.5. That is true. Let's go on to our last one here. This time we have pi in the equation, but it's just like any other number. We're going to treat it the same. We have h plus 2 pi equals 3 pi. Our goal is to get h by itself, so we're going to subtract 2 pi from both sides. We're left with h equals 3 pi minus 2 pi is pi. Now let's go ahead and check our work. If h is pi, that means pi plus 2 pi equals 3 pi. Pi plus 2 pi is 3 pi, so 3 pi equals 3 pi. We got it. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about multiplication and division, and then we'll try a few of those. Again, pause this if you need to fill in the blanks. Multiplication property of equality tells us that if we multiply the same each side of the equation by the same number, we'll have an equivalent equation. The two sides were equal to start with. If we multiply them by the same thing, they're still going to be equal. Same thing with division. If we divide each side of an equation by the same number, it will produce an equivalent equation. So let's look at some examples here. We have negative 3 fourths n equals negative 2. We could divide both sides by negative 3 fourths, or what I prefer to do is multiply by the reciprocal. We know when we multiply two reciprocals, we get 1, and 1n one is the same as n. So let's multiply by negative 4 thirds. Negative 4 thirds times negative 3 fourths would be positive 1, positive 1 in, which is just n. And here we have negative times negative, so our product will be positive, and it'll be 8 over 3, or we could call it 2 and 2 thirds. I'm okay either way in this situation. 
Let's go ahead and check our work. We have negative three-fourths times eight-thirds equals negative two. We can simplify here a little bit. Three goes into itself once. Four goes into itself once and into eight twice. Negative two equals negative two. We're good. Now we have another example here. Again, we're using pi, but that's fine. We can use it just like any other number. We have pi times x equals 3 times pi. So to get x by itself, we want to divide by pi. Pi divided by pi is 1. So we have x. And here we have 3 times pi divided by pi. Again, pi divided by pi is 1, so we're left with just 3. So let's check our work. Um, we have pi times 3 equals 3 pi, and that is true. 3 pi does equal 3 pi, so we are good. All right, one last um, problem here. We've got a real-life application. So we have the melting point of a solid is the temperature at which the solid becomes a liquid. The melting point of bromine is one-third of the melting point of nitrogen. The melting point of bromine is negative 7 degrees Celsius. Write and solve an equation to find the melting point of nitrogen. So let's write it down in words first. We know that the melting point of bromine is one-third of the melting point of nitrogen. We don't know the melting point of nitrogen. Right? So the melting point of bromine is 1 30th of the melting point of nitrogen. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and substitute some numbers and symbols here to make an equation. If bromine has a melting point of negative 7, is means equal to, negative 7 is equal to 1 30th of, it's another way to say multiply, 1 30th times whatever the melting point of nitrogen is, which we don't know. We can use the variable in. So we can write this equation, negative 7 equals 1 30th times n. All right, so now let's solve it. I'll use a different color here. To solve for n, we want to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 30th, which is 30. So I'll multiply both sides by 30. 1 over 30 times 30 is 1. So we're left with just n equals 30 times negative 7 is negative 210. So let's see if that makes sense. If nitrogen um, melting point is negative 210 degrees Celsius, the melting point of bromine is 1 30th of that. 1 30th of 210 is negative 7. That seems to make sense. So we are good to go. I believe that is it. Yep. Go ahead and try a few on your own, and I will see you soon.